I had a dream of fried chicken and waffles. For that, though, I have to figure out how to fry up gluten-free chicken. Every time when I had to fry up something gluten-free, like a vegetable or meat, I just go online and look up flowers which are good for frying. And normally cornstarch and tapioca starch comes up. But I've never really looked and investigated how do the different flowers fry up and what creates a nice crunch and a good taste. So I'm going to put this to the test and to the test, I'm going to put two starches. I'm going to use corn starch and potato starch, two flours, that's humile and sorghum. And then I'm going to use rice flour and then for the cakes, potato flour, because I have noticed in the past it creates in baking a nice crust. So let's try it out. I'm going to have to prep the chicken first though. And to prepping the chicken, I need to put and soak them in buttermilk for three hours. See you in three hours. I'm going to deep fry the chicken legs in different flours and I'm going to see what will be the outcome of it. I'm going to pour in about one inch, which is 2.5 centimeters of oil into the pot and get it up to 360 degrees, which is a good temperature for frying. I have this nifty little thermometer, which I'm going to put into the oil to check that I get it to the right temperature. Here is my chicken. I'm gonna start with sorghum flour. I'm gonna add about half a cup of sorghum and hope that's enough. Okay, so the oil is to temperature and I'm gonna put my chicken in. The next flour I'm trying out is Malay flour, which is a bit more yellow. I'm gonna use again about half a cup. So I'm gonna put the Malay flour in now. It's also interesting to see how easily the flour coats chicken legs. It's pretty easy to coat the chicken with the starch. The rice flour makes it pretty hard. So I have to keep that in mind. This is white rice flour and I'm going to put the cornstarch next to it. For the last one, I'm going to use potato flour. The internal temperature of a chicken should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So here on the right side is white rice flour, in the middle is uh, cornstarch, on the left hand side is potato. It may take up to 15 minutes to deep fry the chicken thighs. In the meantime, I'm making my small little flags so I can separate which type of flour I used for which type of thigh. The nation of flowers. Having a closer look at the chicken thighs, the sorghum flour fried up pretty nicely. It has like pretty big flakes was somewhat decently covered. It looks good. It doesn't have the golden brown color though, like the Millet flour has. So the Millet flour one has pretty big chunks of flour sticking to it and looks pretty tasty to be honest. I would like a little bit better coverage, but overall Millet looks good. I am a bit disappointed with the white rice flour. Um, it did fry up, if you have some chunks, but if you look at the overall coverage, Millet flour and sorghum flour definitely stick much better to the chicken and it's a bit hot. Wow. Cornstarch has nice flakes. Uh, it's golden brown, uh, but you see coverage wasn't great on it. So I'm not convinced about cornstarch and chicken. The biggest disappointment for me is potato flour. I hoped it would crisp up really nicely. And you can see it crisped up, but it didn't create nice flakes like the Malay flour did. If I would have to pick a winner, I would guess Malay flour and white rice flour. Maybe so go. I have to taste it to really say which one I think would be flavor-wise much better. So let's try that. The eating part. So gum is a bit grainy. Millet has a really nice bite, a little bit of a crunch. So on the right path. The white rice flour coating. Again, a lot of crunch, too crunchy. It's like a hard crunch almost. Actually, the potato flour has a nice crunch to it. My takeaway is, it is somewhere between Malay flour and potato flour. I might need a starch for binding. I'm not quite sure about it. So I will explore that in next week's video and figure out what is the right combo to give me that crunch and that softness and a full coverage on my chicken leg or my chicken thigh. If you'd like to get more gluten-free baking recipe or frying recipes, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and Please check the box above to get notifications about any upcoming videos. So I see you next week. Bye.